All right, so I'm Paul Rustin. I am one of the many co-founders of the club. I got, uh, I, I was kind of a fan of soccer at the time, but not super huge fan. I got looped in because I run a brand design studio and it was very helpful to help develop the, the brand. But very soon, I, that very first season, I just fell in love with the club and uh, have just been very involved for the past 15 seasons. Um, and so, you know, uh, I'm now serving as chairman of the board, get to do fun things like design jerseys and things like that. And it just has been great to see the club grow and uh, change. We're very proud of where the club is today. Um, and really, really excited about where we're going. So I guess I could put it this way. I've seen some exciting moments at Chattanooga Football Club from the first game to the record crowds to going pro and many more, but few are as exciting as today. And that's because we found the perfect fit. And I can't wait for you to meet him in a few minutes. But before we do that, I want to introduce you to another person who's not shy about his support of the Chattanooga Football Club. Please welcome Chattanooga Mayor Tim Kelly. Well, thank you, Paul. And my story is uh, exactly like Paul's. Uh, I was. Uh, one of the co-founders of the club and, and got roped into it. It was a, it's a really, really interesting story. Um, and in so many ways, it led me to the mayor's office because it was the first place uh, on the field where I'm you know, in the stands. I really saw the spirit of Chattanooga and how extraordinary Chattanooga is. And I want to recognize Councilwoman Noel, Marvie Noel for being here. I don't know if there's any other elected officials here, but, but you know, again, the club has been described um, as the most Chattanooga thing ever. And I think if people go to the games, that they, uh, they see that really quickly. Um, the other thing that's important and, and notable, and I think I've heard Councilwoman Knowles say this before, is one of the qualities of Chattanooga that's so remarkable is its resilience. You know, um, we just keep bouncing back and, and, and falling forward. Uh, and, you know, this club and uh, this city have been through some tough times. COVID was not easy for sports clubs, for, 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 for anybody, obviously, on, on a number of uh, profound levels. But uh, unlike a lot of clubs, you know, Chattanooga FC fell forward, right? We, we just keep sort of levering up. And again, I don't want to spoil the surprise, but uh, uh, our new general manager is, is a great testament to that. Uh, I think he's going to take this club uh, to a whole new level. Um, I know he's a really smart guy because he's a fellow Columbia grad like me. Uh, and, uh, and we are so, so excited uh, to have him. So I I'll let Paul uh, do the honors. But again, um, as mayor, uh, it's important to say this is Chattanooga's team. And, and it always will be. And uh, again, I, I think it's, uh, I think it's uh, for, for anybody watching this who's never been out to a CFC game, uh, if you don't love soccer, you, you soon will. It's really not about uh, the sport as much as it is about the spirit of Chattanooga and about the people and about the culture. So with that, I'll kick it back to Paul, I guess, and let uh, Paul do the honors of the introduction. Thank you. Thank you. All right, forgive me. I don't have the greatest memory in the world, so I'm going to go on script. Uh, the search for our second CEO in club history began about six months ago, and we decided to take it slow and not rush. We had two important criteria. First, of course, to find someone who would stay true to the original mission of the club, which is to use soccer as a tool to build relationships and strengthen relationships in the greater area of Chattanooga. Number two was to find someone to lead this club into a period of strong growth. Alton Bird was the choice and very clear choice in this process. Alton Bird is a global sports executive who has accumulated over 30 years of sports and brand marketing experience. First, as a European professional basketball player, a head coach, then a general manager, an entrepreneur, and a business executive. Alton joined CFC midway through its 15th season and has a plan to position the club for exponential growth in its third full season as a professional club. The CFC men's team is currently undefeated, sitting in first place and leading attendance in the league, the National Independent Soccer Association. Alton most recently served as Senior Vice President of Growth Properties and Community Relations for BSE Global, which owns the Brooklyn Nets of the NBA, Long Island Nets of the NBA G League, and New York Liberty in the WNBA. Before that, he was Chief Revenue Officer with the Atlanta Dream of the WNBA. 
He also held executive roles with the Sacramento Kings and the London Monarchs of the NFL Europe. He spent about 20 years in the UK. It's safe to say that alone means Alton has probably watched more soccer than any of us. There's not really another choice over there. To give you an idea of how eager Alton was to get to work, you should know he's actually been on the job here for about 30 days. It has taken us this long to get his calendar clear enough to hold this event. Just kidding. In reality, we wanted extra time to get, he wanted extra time to get to know the CFC family and to spend a few weeks in person before we made any sort of public announcement. Once you get to know Alton, you'll see he does not sit still very long. But we did manage to get him to sit down for a few minutes at Finley Stadium recently. Take a look. Hey, this is Alton Bird, and I am absolutely honored and thrilled to be the Chief Executive Officer at Chattanooga Football Club. I'm a normal guy that's had the good fortune of being a professional athlete. I've been a coach, I've been a GM, I've worked in NFL, I've worked in the NBA. I've been blessed, I've been very lucky. I've always been a student of not only business, but sports. Competition is competition, and the business of sports is the same. I've had a chance to see how people do things on a big level. I played a year at Manchester United as captain of Manchester United's basketball team, so I got a chance to see the inner workings of what a big club, one of the global big clubs, is like. There hasn't been one person that I've spoken to that has either moved to Chattanooga or is from Chattanooga who didn't tell me. Once they got here, they loved it. I want to make sure that our fans know that I'm committed to giving them the best in experiences because this club has a historical um, platform to which I get to build on. I'm open-minded. I'm willing to experiment. I'm willing to learn. I'm willing to see things differently. There's a lot of potential, and I hope and really pray that as we grow together, you'll support the, continue to support the club um, as we grow and look towards the future. Ladies and gentlemen, Alton Bird. Oh, I had to take my, I put my glasses on, and uh, let me say, first of all, what a great honor it is to be here. Um, this is a new challenge for me, a new opportunity for me, and for my family. Um, uh, let me say a couple of thank yous um, to my wife and to my two children who are in Europe. I get a little emotional because my children aren't here but my son is an avid Manchester United fan, and I'm an avid Liverpool fan. Um, so you can imagine that conversation goes left pretty quickly. Um, but to my wife, who's been on a 22, 23 year journey with me, thank you. My kids, both in Europe, my sister who's in Vegas and my niece to them, I say thanks because they contributed and poured into me all of the good values that I hope to bring to this club. Um, Mayor Kelly, um, when I went through the process, I got a chance to meet the mayor. Um, I see he's a swashbuckling kind of guy. He's a Columbia guy. Um, and I felt very comfortable around him. So thank you, Chairman Paul, to the board, to Davis Grizzard, who really kind of led it to crew everybody that I spent time with, um, to the board, thank you. Thank you for selecting me and making me a part of your family. Every day that I wake up, I say five things. I have a mantra I say every day. Number one, today is a good day, for obvious reasons. I woke up and that makes it a good day. Number two, I hope to 
and believe that I'm the best. Number three, that I believe I can do it. Number four, I absolutely believe I'm a winner. And number five, that God is always with me. So with that, I think that we have a really unusual opportunity here in Chattanooga to build something or continue to build something special. This club has 15 years. When I say that to people, that 15 years is like, wow. Hugely successful, passionate fan base, great city, um, emerging commerce, technological hub, all of those things that really make a city go, contribute to a club. To our fans who have been so involved and so passionate, to the Chattahooligans who I look forward to um, working with and to helping to build, uh, I say thank you for embracing me, for letting me come here and do what you all have been doing and learning from you. Um, I said in the video, I'm a pretty regular guy. Born and raised in San Francisco, had a chance to travel the world, went to school in New York, lived in the United Kingdom for 20 years, and I went through the process, and every time I went through the process and the questions came, well, how are you gonna transfer what you've been doing all your life in one sport to another? And my response was, you don't live in the United Kingdom for 20 years, which is half of my adult life, and not learn to love football. You just don't, it doesn't happen. So I've had the good fortune of experiencing football at the highest levels in the world with the Premier League. I've watched how they impact their communities, all communities of all colors, all races, all sizes, all types. And I really believe that Chattanooga is going to have an enormous impact, not just on Chattanooga, but on the region. You already have had, this club has already had an, a, a huge impact nationally. And so for me, as the regular guy who's getting a chance to work with some pretty incredible people, this is going to be hopefully transformational for me personally, but also we get to make some changes and get to do some fun things with this club as we grow. Um, I, I just don't know what to tell you other than the joy. I went through the process and people kept asking me, why this job? And I said, clearly I want to be in a joyful place. I've not walked anywhere, my wife and I haven't been anywhere in Chattanooga where there hasn't been joy, good food, good conversation. And so you all have something here. I don't think you guys know what you have in Chattanooga. So we're gonna do the best we can to enhance what you've already done. This isn't a refit, this isn't a, well, we're gonna do, you have something here. We're gonna do the best we can to build on top of that and make you proud as well. Thank you all for having me. It's, it, this is gonna be great, I promise. And hopefully when you see me at the stadium tomorrow, make sure everybody comes to the stadium, you folks, make sure Independent Cup, hopefully we get some silverware tomorrow. Uh, I know Coach Rod is planning on that. But when you see me tomorrow, feel free to say hey. I'm going to say hey to you. And uh, thank you guys so much for having me. And thank you for letting me be about your world. Thank you.